it's probably fair to say that there is no one, no one, no single person who knows more about architecture in the Metroplex, indeed in Texas, um, in the 19th and 20th century than Willis. What was riveting was to go to his house and to go into what is really one of the finest um, art architecture libraries in the city. It's in those volumes that his imagination flies. So this is a, a community in Grand Prairie called Avian Village that was designed by Richard Neutra and a Dallas uh, architect, uh, Art Schwenk. Uh, I've always wanted to be an architect and I'm very passionate about it. That's what motivates me is great architecture uh, and preserving the past in particular, especially in a city like Dallas that doesn't have much of a past. Uh, I think it's very important to preserve what we have. He has this, an, an encyclopedic knowledge of the architects that worked in Dallas and you know can spot their buildings almost from the street. Willis brings to the art of preservation the practicality of it, uh, the adaptive reuse, the adaptive reuse. He also has the ability to uh, understand and relate to those that are not necessarily so keen on preservation like many of us are and, and take it to a level that makes them feel that it has mo uh, the value that it deserves. Willis was a very valuable member of our group for those years. Extraordinarily capable, extraordinarily talented and competent in what he did, enthusiastic, <laughs> and he was a much treasured member of our group. I'll never forget my uh, first day in 1993, in May of 1993, uh, uh, 17 years ago this month, uh, I went in and my boss, Steve Park, uh, sat me down at his desk and said, Willis, uh, I may not have told you this in the interview, but uh, the park department owns and uh, maintains and operates Fair Park. I said, and I thought, well, no, you didn't tell me that. And I was, I was in love with Fair Park my whole life. There were six World's Fairs held in the United States during the 1930s. And of all those World's Fairs, which featured modern architecture, Fair Park is the only site that remains uh, virtually intact. Once we began uh, to uh, uh, restore the exteriors, uh, then with the next bond program in 2003, money was in place to also begin work on the uh, conservation of the great uh, monumental artwork. There's still work to do, but now we're beginning to look forward to even possibly think about rebuilding some of the buildings that were lost after the centennial that were taken down. Buildings like the Ford Pavilion designed by uh, Albert Kahn and Walter Dorwin Teague. Uh, that's one that we're really interested in recreating. Willis um, is a historian and he also has known how to preserve the cultural um, integrity of our city while still uh, knowing and working toward an architectural uh, exuberance and excitement that uh, will define Dallas in the 21st century. Not only did we have this incredible national treasure that was Fair Park, but we also had uh, a number of historic parks and I'm not just interested in historic parks, I'm interested in raising the uh, level of quality in all of our parks, new and old. During the 1930s, Dallas really uh, expanded its park system during that period. And that may have been the first great period of expansion of the Dallas park system. He has overseen the renaissance of the park system ensuring that what is historic is properly preserved and that which is new um, is perfectly balanced with the historic aspects. I'm also uh, vitally interested in 
the work we're, we're doing in establishing a downtown park system, starting with Main Street Garden. It is surrounded by some of the city's most significant architecture and also uh, outstanding examples from various architectural styles and period. We have 376 parks in Dallas, 21,000 acres, and all of them have their own particular needs, uh, and uh, that's what uh, we have been addressing. You knew he cared, and he was always there for me. We could sit and we could talk and we could wrangle and we could debate and discuss, but I always knew that even if we disagreed that he had the best interests of the zoo in, in, in his heart and that uh, whatever we came up with at the end was better because he touched it. There's not much remaining from the distant past and even from the more recent past. I think it's, it's very, very important for us to work as hard as we can to preserve what we have remaining.